Hey guys, it's the Knights of Rectangular Table here. Today we're going to be showing you a very essential mechanism for FLL. It's the one-way door. If it's not the most important, it's one of the most important. It's very helpful for a wide variety of things. Let's get into it. Okay, so what a one-way door is, is it's any mechanism where an object can pass through it one way, but not the other. So the reason why this is so useful for almost everything is it can let you pick up loops like so, and it won't let them back out. Alright, so how do you build a one-way door? So it generally has two parts. It's got the frame, and it's got the door itself. The door needs to be able to rotate freely about a point, and then you just put something like this to stop it from going one direction too far. The frame can be built however you want. It just needs to meet up with the bottom of the door so that there's no gaps and the object can knock it out. It's a fairly simple build and it can be built in many ways. Alright, so one way that you can use a one-way door this season is for the spacewalk mission. So, Gerard the astronaut has a very large loop attached to him, so you can come by with the one-way door and just pick that up. Uh, and you can bring it back to base and then later use that if you come by and drop them in there. So, the second way that you can use a one-way door-like mechanism is, this is not strictly a one-way door, but we have these things where they can open up this way, but they can't close this way. And how we use this is we drive into the cone module, like so, and then when we back up, they keep the cone module there and we can take it back to base. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, please subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, please comment below. And leave a like if you want to see Gerard in the next video. Sorry, Gerard. Sorry. See you guys.